Wrong. I want to talk about uh, after Obama railed against the rich, an MSNBC analyst called him a D word that stands for penis. On Thursday, while discussing Obama's presser, Mark Halperin, who works for Time Magazine, yes, t that time still exists, was asked how he felt about the president's demeanor. Watch. Are we in the seven second delay today? Oh, Lord. No. I wanted to characterize how I thought the president behaved. How, how do you think you Well, <laughs> we have it. We can I mean, use it, right, Alex? Yeah, sure. Come on. Yeah. Take a Go chance. Go for it. F.A. Yeah, let's see what happens. Yes, you, 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 Alex, I'm you behind button. you. You fall down. I'm going to mm -hmm. catch you. It's, and the precedent has been set on yeah. the okay, show. Okay, so go So ahead. we're good. I thought he was kind of a <laughs> yesterday. Oh. oh, my God. Delay that. <laughs> Delay that. What are you doing? I, I think the president. I can't, I can't believe you. I was joking. Don't do that. Did we delay that? <laughs> I hit it. I hope it worked. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, my mom's watching, so we'll know whether that worked or not. Hold on. I hope it I'm, did. Holy Check the technology. I, I gotta the, say, I'm the, not. The, I'm the, not shocked the, by much. I, that kind of shocked me. I, I mean, seriously, <sighs> you can't shock me. I just. But I was just. <laughs> with you guys. I'd like to hear more of your analysis. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll clean it up. Okay. You know, I, I was when I say test it out, I'm just joking. It's like drunken bridge night. <laughs> Alperin later offered an on-air apology, but that wasn't enough. As a few hours later, MSNBC released a statement that Halperin, a senior political analyst for the network, was suspended indefinitely. Thankfully, he has a backup job. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Mark keeps himself in great shape. He's wasting his time on MSNBC. <laughs> Diane, you know what? I, so, he, so he said something. I think the real villains were the hosts. Didn't they egg him on? I don't understand that. My initial reaction was I could not believe a senior political analyst would say something like that. Yeah. But they literally, it was like they wanted him to say it. <laughs> they showed the control room in one yeah. of those shots. They yeah. literally told him, there's going to be a delay. You say whatever you want. And then he comes out and says it, and they act like they're all in shock. Yeah. I, no, thought they, I, I thought they wanted him to say something. Yeah, and, and, and generally, you don't normally show a picture of the control room yeah. without planning that, right? I don't know. I, I should know, but I don't know. You're acting like we very... have a control room. <laughs> we, do. we don't know. We have an ex excellent control room, Bill. <laughs> uh, sick. Why, Joe? Uh, because the two of you, Blondie and Ken Doll, whatever your names are that host that stupid show. Me, Ken Joe. Joe. Yeah. I mean, just that, watching that emasculated jackass sit there and go, I can't believe you said that. It's like, <laughs> that's like he's the guy in the bar that goes, come on, tough guy, hit me. And as yeah. soon as you hit him, he goes, I'm going to sue. He just punched me in the face. It's ridiculous. Should the guy have said what he said? I don't know. That's that's splitting hairs of, uh, in an argument to me. But what is the difference between saying he acted like a D, dot, 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 or saying he acted unsavory? We all know what the intention are. Are we this immature still as a people yeah. that we have to that we have to ridicule somebody for this line? To this, it's it's insane to me. It's insane to me. But he should have known better. Like it was obvious that they were egging him on. It was obvious that they were trying to set him up. He's a senior analyst. He knows the cameras are always on. He knows the mic's always on. He should have never uttered the D word. You know, there, there are obviously other ways but to criticize why? Obama. And, uh, you know, but unless why, you're why, it, why is this reaction like, oh, my God, how, I, well, I never. Well, they, <laughs> wanted, to make, they wanted to make something It's ridiculous. It, <laughs> We're grown-ups. We're grown-ups. Is it this big of a... That word doesn't even mean what that word is supposed to mean when <laughs> you say it. You know, That's by true. The way, can no, I also I mean, something? You know what else doesn't mean anything? And let's go back to this. He's not a senior analyst. He's a senior political analyst. What does that mean? Can we let the cat out of the bag? We see that Chiron all the time. That means nothing. That someone that comes with the tie and says, I have an opinion on something. There's no business card that says senior political analysis. <laughs> it's Who's ridiculous. Oh, why are we now attacking D-word? Now we're attacking the guy's a profession. Oh, political yeah. analyst. Oh, you know what's better than a senior bus. political analyst? A strategist. What the hell is that? <laughs> I, I sit at home and strategize things that I have nothing to do with. I, I, yeah, but I nothing is compared to what does that mean? Eyes. Nothing compared to a repulsive sidekick. <laughs> At least no. I am what I say I am. <laughs> you, you what? They are repulsive sidekicks. <laughs> they are repulsive sidekicks, sir. Is... I have the balls to say what I am. God, what is? Sorry, I said balls, is... but I can do that because I'm a sidekick. <laughs> what is wrong <laughs> with you? I don't know. I never understood what that meant. I never understood what that meant. It doesn't mean anything. Let me ask you, Brooke. Uh, if uh, he was talking about George Bush, would anybody have cared? 
No, no. I think they would have cheered him on, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, look, I, I don't know what to say ab about this story. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Your moral it, relativism it, disgusts me. Yeah. <laughs> no, it disgusts it's just, me. It's not moral look, relativism. Unless he was comparing just... him to Dick Cheney, then he, you know, should have been suspended, but for should... other reasons. I think the context counts completely. Yeah. If he was on a serious news show and they were asking him for a serious analysis and like he comes show. out and calls the yeah. president that kind of a name, completely inappropriate, I would completely uh, agree with him being suspended. In the context that they were talking, they were joking, they were laughing, they were literally saying, oh, say whatever you want, yeah. we're on delay, go ahead, let loose. And then he comes out with it and they all act horrified. I'm 100% with Joe right now. Yeah. As a he former analytical strategist, that's what she says. Yes. He issued two apologies. I mean, he's just groveling for his job back. He should have stuck up for himself. And, and I agree. An I do agree there. He, well, he did the same thing they did as soon as the... the it yeah. hit the shan. He uh, backed down and <laughs> nice. started apologizing. And he should have just said, "He should have just said, you know what? You guys egg me on, and yeah. I don't take it back." Yeah. I would have, I would have respected. And well, that's that. the problem. Everybody's conditioned now to apologize relentlessly for everything they do. Everybody wants to act completely audaciously, do whatever they want to you. And as soon as you react to it or partake in it, then you're the villain. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a victim all the time. This guy should have absolutely stood up for himself. I, I mean, especially to that pompadour. <laughs> <laughs> High wearing moron that hosts that morning show. You really hate Joe Scarborough. He's an idiot. I, mean, I don't think he's an idiot. He's I like him. I don't know. By the way, I, I don't watch the show because I'm not up then. But I know he's a, he, 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 uh, what? I don't like what he did, but he's what he's, kind of a man? <laughs> I mean, all men, straight man, gay man, whatever. What kind of a man sits there and goes, oh, oh, oh I can't believe you said that. It's, it makes me sick. It's yeah. like, dude, you're not offended by that yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was such a weasel thing to do. Yeah, Sorry, I, I but I have to say, I do that too. When somebody, when a guest says something, I will act offended just Ooh, so. My word. My well, word. then it's completely on that. Yeah, it's on that. I condemn that comment. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like uh, then, then I'm. I'm Safe in case I get in trouble. <laughs> you could see I was easily offended by that. It I, wasn't my problem. It was the ho it was the guest. I always like it when you bring out your oversized fan. Yeah. Sort of, oh. <laughs> All right, we got to move on. Uh, Mark, Mark Halperin suspended for saying the president acted like a whatever. Uh, Greg, you noted that Halperin works for Time Magazine, and then you said yes, Time Magazine still exists. Yes. It turns out you're right. <laughs> I, I, I triple sourced it. They're, they're still around. Good for you. I'm glad you checked yeah. up on that. Yeah. I still don't believe it, but yeah. Uh, it's uh, no highlights. <laughs> no. The only thing close to highlights was was it crickets? What? Crickets? Yes. <laughs> it was cricket, I think it was called. Dynamite was pretty good. <laughs> I find nice Maxim thing. very similar. <laughs> Do you, Joe? Yeah. I yeah. condemn that remark. The differences in the yeah. yeah. Uh, also, Greg, Diane, I agree with you. This was Scarborough's fault as much as Halperin's. The thing is, though, Scar uh, Scarborough has, has cultivated this ridiculous image as Mr. Moderate and Mr. Reasonable, so he'll never get blamed for it. Mm. An interesting point. I am sick of his holier than thou shtick, Greg. I am too. That's my bag. Yes, it is. Nah. <laughs> uh, that said, Joe, there is a difference between saying the president acted like a D word and saying he acted unsavory. Oh, what would that difference be? It's just, it's disrespectful to the office of the presidency to, to use language like that. Yeah, but I mean, you know, you're a walking affront to everything this network stands for, and they, you know, they let you do your thing. That's my point, Andy. Sometimes you just have to be mature and accept the shortcomings of another human being. <laughs> <laughs> you should have held that longer. Yeah, I know. This is why when my mom watches the show, she goes, does Andy hate you? <laughs> my mom says the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, on, the, on the other hand, we should note that MSNBC has no problem with its on-air personalities using the T word. Really? Yeah. Teabagger. Ah. Yeah. Right. Saw that it's coming. It's totally fine with them. Yeah. Uh, but, by the way, Joshua Keating of Foreign Policy notes that in Thailand, insulting the monarchy can get you three to 15 years in prison. And in France, the crime of insulting the president can carry a fine of up to 45,000 euros, uh, which is $6 billion. Really? Ooh. Yep. Stiff. Yep. Well, I mean, yep. I mean, when you do something like that to President Obama, it's not out of the question to suggest execution. I mean, when somebody says something like that. Well, but uh, the question is, is President Obama, is he a foreign leader? He's a world leader. Ooh. Because that's the question. Yeah. You know, he's a planetary leader. Yeah. And in fact, the crime was far worse against him. Yeah. Uh, by the way, in 2006, this is true. Poland launched a national manhunt for a man who farted loudly in response to a request from police to show more respect for the president of Poland. <laughs> True, oh story. True story. True story. Really? Why am I on camera right now? <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. Because the police are, are interested in you. Investigation is pending. Yeah. Great. Yep.
Uh, by the way, I think this means there are only two people left on MSNBC who haven't been suspended in the last year. <laughs>